As you first launch After Effects, it's really important to understand how project files are saved and how all the assets that you'll be working with should be organized on your hard drive before you ever bring them into an After Effects project. The first time you launch the application, you'll notice this start screen, and working from the top down, it's divided up into two sections, the work section and the learn section. We're going to focus on the work section and go to the upper left corner here, and recent is selected and that gives me a list of the recent projects that I've opened. Now, obviously, if you've never opened an After Effects project before, you probably won't have anything in your list. Now, usually when I get started, I click on the new project button, but since I already created a project for us to work with, I'm gonna choose open project. When the open panel pops up, navigate to your project files. If you don't have these project files, you can feel free to follow along using your own assets. In the open dialog box, let's look at our project files. Notice I have four different After Effects project files. And if you come over here on the right hand side, you'll notice under the size that none of them are particularly large. In fact, they're less than a megabyte apiece. Let's continue to look at our project. I'll click once on the open and save projects file and then go to the lower right hand corner and click the open button to open that file. Now, as you can see in this After Effects project, I've got quite a lot of things going on. If we just press the space bar, we can preview the animation. And just press the space bar to stop playback. And as you can see, I've got video files in there. I've got graphics in there. Let's take a closer look and figure out where these files actually are. If we go to the upper left corner of the interface, there's this area called the project panel. Click once in the project panel to make it active. And I know it's the project panel because it says project in the upper left hand corner. This is the panel where you will import and organize all the assets that you'll be using in your different After Effects projects. When you build graphic builds like this, they'll be built in something called a composition, which is represented here in the composition panel and down here in the timeline. A composition is just a stack of layers that create this composite. In the project panel, if we look, you notice I've already created a bunch of folders and organized several different elements, like I have a music file here. If we go down to the bottom, I have video footage. If you click on any one of these files, you'll get information at the top of the project panel showing you a little bit about that file. This is a video file. It should be larger than one megabyte. So let's do some further investigation by right clicking on the video file and choose Reveal in Explorer if you're on Windows or Reveal in Finder if you're on the Mac. So if we look at the selected file, you can see it's a compressed video file, an MP4 file, and its size is definitely larger than one megabyte. I'm gonna navigate back one folder in my browser. I'll click here and you notice these are my project files. The way I've organized things on my hard drive, I created a folder called Assets, and anything that I thought I was going to import into any of these After Effects projects, I put in the Assets folder. That's because After Effects projects don't embed external files. They reference where those files live on your hard drive. So whenever you're working in After Effects, it's always wise to keep all the elements you'd like to import into your project in one centralized location.